Welcome back to another episode of The Ball Breaker. What a match we just witnessed between Australia and Afghanistan. Uh, apologies for not making the review of India and South Africa yet. Um, as a South African fan, I'm gutted. Um, India have demolished South Africa. What a time to be alive. Um, I don't think we realize how great this Indian team is. The talent, they used to be well known for spin bowling. Now they have an unstoppable seam attack of Boomera and Shami and Siraj that have just demolished South Africa. Jadeja coming in with a spin, unplayable. Um, but let's not take uh, it away of the innings. Glenn Maxwell just, I still cannot believe what I've witnessed. Oh my word. Um, 201. Um, Australia was at the stage 107, um, 91, 91 for seven. But let's recap, let's recap. I'm getting overexcited here. Um, Afghanistan scoring 291 for five. Um, Australia 293 for seven. Um, Australia winning with, um, with three wickets. Uh, we're going to look at the scorecard. I think we can only speak about two individuals in this match. Um, 120, 129 runs from Zadran, um, scoring three sixes and eight fours. In terms of the bowling, nothing we can really speak about. Um, must say I'm disappointed in, in, in the Mitchell Starks bowling. I thought he was going to perform better. But once again, um, going for over seven runs over, Joss Hazelwood the same. Um, he scored two wickets um, for economy rate of 4.3. Not so bad at the end of the day, but I thought the bowling attack of, of Australia is going to be more potent up front, getting wickets, restricting teams. But we've seen it was not the case. Um, so at the end of the day, Afghanistan scoring 291 for the loss of five wickets. Australia came into bed and the previous innings, the top order batsmen, didn't didn't do well. Travis Head and uh, David Warner once again failed with the betting. Um, Travis Head nicked off. Um, don't move his feet at all. Um, I don't know what type of shot that he play outside off nicked uh, and caught behind. And Afghanistan's tail was up. The bowlers were steaming in. Um, Omar Zai and Ol Haq, you know, got the first three wickets. The run out of Labas Kachni, uh, or Labouche, we've talked about this, he's from South Africa, uh, and want to, want commentators to call him Labouche now that he's living in Australia. Josh Ingalls coming in for, um, for the, for the captain Steve Smith that is injured. He got a zero. Um, suddenly it was 91 for the loss of seven wickets and we all thought it's going to be over. Um, but Mr. Fantastic, Glenn Maxwell came in and, oh man, I, I'm just thinking back at, at his performance, reverse sweep shot, um, for six runs. In fact, he two reverse sweeps, but one went for six. Um, later on at the end of the day, he was just standing and delivering, hitting fours and, and sixes. I must say the rotation, um, between him and the lower order batsman, was was quite good because um, he was at the end of the day he faced a lot of balls, but also you can see Pat Cummins faced sixty eight balls for his twelve runs, so he knew what to do. He must get the strike to Glenn Maxwell. He's going to finish on the other side. They couldn't lose this match. At the end of the day, Australia secured their place in the semi final. Um, well, um, I'm I'm still lost for words. I'm still lost for words. This betting performance from Glenn Maxwell was just unbelievable. In the previous videos, I spoke about um, the old Glenn Maxwell when he just arrived on the international scene. Well, he's back. And he's back with a bang. Um, <coughs> I foresee Australia um, playing South Africa in the semifinals. Uh, it's going to be difficult with the form that Australia is in now at the moment. But we can also say... Top order batsman is not performing um, the last two matches. They're under pressure. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen. But yeah, I foresee South Africa going through. 
um, and playing India in the final. In terms of bowling for Afghanistan, nothing, nothing to complain about. They've tried their best, uh, you know, to win this game, but Glenn Maxwell was a one-man show. He was just good enough. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please like the video. Please share the video and please subscribe. Um, I appreciate your support.